Okay, so a quick uh, Sims 3 resource workshop thing uh, on creating clothes overlays. Not actual clothes, that would be more in depth. But clothes overlays. Okay, so after you load this up, you can only go create a new project and clothing. So we'll click that. Uh, young adult, this will take longer to load. I've already preloaded it all. Um, or any any age you want, just the age you're looking for. Male. And every day. Uh, I'm going to use this one. But you can use any one you want. This one's just really easy to use. Okay, next, okay, change this here to something like that. It doesn't matter, you don't actually ever see this. Project name, call this uh, shirt warm next okay so then just click okay um so let's load okay so uh after it's loading um you're gonna want to go to texture and stencil a hit this button hit export and um then you're going to export as just anything, you can change this, doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to export as a direct draw surface, which you need to get an add-on for Photoshop to run. So if you don't have that, there'll probably be a link in the description as soon as I can find one. But yeah, so just sit somewhere like your desktop or whatever. Save. Sorry, so whoops. Uh, then I did say cancel. And then click cancel, yeah. Then minimize and uh, that's the one I've saved, but I've already got saved, so I'm just going to delete that. I already got saved here, so load it up, and you should get this winner. Then you're going to click new thing and get the text tool, is what I'm using here. Uh, you can use whatever you want, you can draw, but I'm just not going to use the text tool. M H tutor wait wait I'm gonna put some capitals. M H tutorials move it over the skull and crossbones, see how well it fits there and everything. That'll be a little bit wide. So I'm just gonna look for a good font. And I'm gonna use um just gonna use this font because it looks kinda cool. It's also going to be thinner. No, I'm not going to use the font. You want kind of a blocky font. I don't know if you're able to read that after it's been done, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use. Go right up my best fonts up here. Um, just this, whatever, whatever font you want. Change the size roughly so it's not much wider than the skull. Cause that skull is pretty big on his shirt, if you, if you, uh, as you've seen. So that's fine. Uh, create a new layer again. Oh wait, click this button. New layer, um, and then drag that below. This layer. Fill this layer with a color. Um, my color is this color, so just fill, and you should get this. You can now delete the background layer flatten image and then file uh, save as dot uh, dds and I'd say it as logo save and then just hit save when it says alpha information will be lost I don't know what that means but it doesn't do anything just click ok Okay, so uh, once that's been saved, you want to uh, go back into the Sims 3 workshop thing, this thing, and load it into, uh, click these three little dots next to Sensor A. So I'll do that again. These three little dots here next to Sensor A. Uh, import, and then find your thing, logo, and uh, it will make the whole of his arms go green, but when it's actually played in the game, they aren't. So, <laughs> woo, it looks kind of weird. Um, and now I'll show you what it looks like. Um, oh yeah, so that's kind of uh, 
done now, all you need to do is click file and not save or save as export to Sims 3 pack. Call it um, something like whatever, it doesn't matter. What the fuck? Okay, that's been saved as what the fuck. Okay, so you can now go out of this. You don't need to save and minimize this. Actually, I'm going to close it down because it will. Uh, goodbye. And now you can. <laughs> Rather what the fuck? We'll just do this. Uh, you should get the Sims 3 being loaded. Uh, okay, here we go. And then you should. He's taking his time. And there's what the installer that shows it's installing that thing there, saying Sims 3. Well, the, not, not since we the little pop up thing. Um, <coughs> and when it's finished, it will say. There you go, what the fuck? Sims 3 pack success and done. Click OK. Click X, and this is what it looks like in game. Okay, just a quick recording of the Sims 3. I don't know how laggy this looks or it doesn't appear to be lagging on my computer so if it's lagging I'm sorry if it isn't it's cool so this is uh, MH Toyo show we made um, yeah so that's pretty cool and uh, we also have uh, going to custom we get them in packs obviously what the hell are they gone? oh here yeah. obviously these two packs are the same because I only created one t-shirt in them but what you could do is change every uh, one of these, every shirt, and then you'd have a whole pack of shirts that you could use. Uh, here's a YouTube shirt I made. They don't work too well in bright white. They seem to work fine, but uh, I would have really tried a bit better. So, yeah, that's uh, it's been MH Tutorials. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe.